itself power right there. When we keep God's commandments, that is power. Oh, we're living prophecy, brothers and sisters. We are living prophecy. Y'all understand that thing? Yes, sir. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you are the Israelites. Because guess what? The people in the Bible didn't just magically disappear. Their descendants are standing before me this day. Yes, you right. are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the sons and daughters of the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, the right. greatest people on the planet. Yes, right. No one can compare to you. No one on this planet. The Chinese man can't compare to you. The Japanese man can't compare to you. The East Indian man can't compare to you. You are royalty before me. Seeing the Israelites wake up tribe by tribe, man and woman, boy and girl. He said, our time is short. These guys are waking up. All the money we spent to keep them in darkness has availed us nothing. And they stood upon their feet. And we stood upon our feet as the Israelites. And great fear fell upon them which saw the nations were afraid. What are we reading the Bible? So society is against us. Why? Because we're giving back the esteem to our people as the Israelites. We're not saying that you're equal to everybody. We're saying you are above all nations. That's right. That's what the Bible says. God ain't looking for a church group. He said a great exceeding army stood up. And what's our weapon? The Bible. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments uh -huh. according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our God. Because our people departed from the ways of the Most High God. Right. Now I saw you take your hat off. Now watch this. We're going to go to the book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Because you know what we teach. So if you know what we teach, then you should know the next thing that I'm going to say. Because we got to do these things. We got to keep these laws with happiness. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't just, you know, I'm going to just do this and try to check off a check box, you know, check off a box, right? You know, we got to do these things and be happy for them. Just like you was happy when you woke up in the morning and you was, wait, you was ready to get your Christmas presents under the Christmas tree, right? You got to be just that happy about God's laws. You understand that? Now watch this, read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. He said we're not supposed to make baldness upon our head. We're talking about that like Steve Harvey, uh, Michael Jordan, right? Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So you grow a beard. It might not, it's like, you probably grow like me, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Probably, but see, the thing is, we're supposed to keep that thing. A beard is known as a badge of manly courage. You understand that? It's manly dignity. You understand what I'm saying? We walk with we, we, the, the white man. He wants us to walk around butt naked at the face. You understand what I'm saying? They make it a requirement in order for you to get a job, right? They don't want that. They want to make. They want to reduce all our all our men into boys. You understand that? But you gotta keep your beard because if what if God created us in His image, right? And He grew, He made men to keep beards, right? Then God must have one, right? Now, when I want, like, is it that the image that you want to uphold, right? Now, watch this. Give me Numbers 15 and 38, because remember, these is laws that we gotta keep in joyfulness and gladness of heart. How you doing, bro? How you doing? What's your name, King? All right, look, we're going over God's laws right now. Have you ever seen this 12 tribes chart before? Oh, okay, okay, so you know what we teach then, right? Okay, right now we're about to go over some laws, right? Because that's what we're supposed to do. If people say that they want to serve God, they believe in God, you got to know what it means to serve God, right? Like Christianity teaches, right? It tells us that you don't have to keep God's laws. That is a lie. Because when you actually read the Bible, you find out that getting the kingdom is... Keeping God's laws is the only way. And that in the faith of Jesus Christ. You understand that? So now watch this. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So he says we're supposed to make fringes on the borders of our garments 
throughout our generations, right? What does it mean throughout your generations? Can y'all understand that part? What does it mean throughout your generations? Can you, can you explain that? You said it, but do you, can you follow that? He says, read it, say it again for him so they can hear it. Right, as long as you keep having children, they have to do this. Look at the brothers here. Right, because we want to keep God's laws. We really want to go to heaven, right. right? So we're going to throw them fringes on, and we're going to put that ribbon of blue. That's and right. it's going to be throughout our generations. You following me, sis? The blue, that's because God commanded it so. Right. That's what the blue for, because God said so. But it's all functional. Watch this, read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So he says those fringes, they're functional. They're not just a fashion statement. Right. They're for you to look upon them and remember to do all the commandments of the Most High God. Right. Right. Now, nobody has fringes on. And so that must mean that we don't know how to keep God's Sabbath. We don't know the laws on marriage. We don't, law, we don't know the laws on a beard. We don't know the laws on how to love our neighbor. You understand that? The dietary law. Right. Let me ask y'all this. How many of y'all eat pork? Be honest. Okay, okay. What about shrimp? Shrimp? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they suffer the highest rate of diabetes, high blood pressure, and hypertension, right? And it all stems from a poor eating habit that was given to us by our enemies. They used to take the best cuts of the food into the house and throw us the slops. You understand that? Right. Now, it just... God is just God's grace that we were able to make those things trash taste good, but those things were no good for our body, and which is why we lead the our of all races of people. Our people is the one who lead in those negative aspects. Everything negative we lead in, everything positive we at the bottom end. You understand that? But if we were to keep the dietary law like this, give me Leviticus eleven and seven. What? The book of Leviticus, chapter eleven, verse seven. Bring it out. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. So the Bible says, now remember, he still, he, look, the story ain't changed. He's still talking to the children of Israel. He told them, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't eat swine, it's going to be unclean to you. That's why you get gout. That's why your blood pressure, your blood sugar too high, all of those things. You understand that? Now watch this, jump down to verse nine watch this read verse nine these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters so now he he went from the things of the land now he's going to go to the things in the water read. whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters in the seas and in the rivers them shall ye eat so now he said the things that have scales and fins in rivers and in the water he said those you can eat read and all that have not fins nor scales in the seas and in the rivers, and of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So now he says, if you're eating those things that don't have scales and fins that are in the water, uh, shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish, catfish is big in our community, catfish, squid, you understand? These things are unclean. What'd you say? They're all bottom feeders, right? But he says those things are unclean to you. They give it to you, and they they call it a delicacy, but God calls it trash. Right. They charge you expensive, exorbitant amounts of money for trash. Right. This is how the white man do our community. You understand that? So we have to start coming back to God's laws, so that way we can have a we can repeat we can repair the broken community that we have that have been destroyed through all these years. Right. Because it's more it's more to it than just the dietary and dressing and the beard. Watch this, read. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 2. The aged men be sober. The aged men be what? Be sober, uh -huh. brave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. So what I want to touch on is that sober, right? Look, I grew up over here. I used to stay in this apartment building right behind this one right here, right? And I, I, I wandered up and down these streets. I know about the alcoholism, the homelessness. We got people sleeping at bus stops, right? Down here on Imperial and Avalon, you got people, you got a homeless encampment in front of a liquor store. You understand that? 
give me that in Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 11. Bring Watch this. Home. Because these is more laws to it than just thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet. You understand right. that? This whole Bible, it has a way for you to live. Right. They always say basic instructions before you leave earth, but nobody's doing the nobody's following the instructions. Right. Watch this, read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 11. Bring it out. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, uh -huh. that they may follow strong drink. That they may follow what? That they may follow strong drink. He said, woe to them that rise up early in the morning, that they follow strong drink. Now, you got, now I had an uncle who woke up every morning. He couldn't wait to hit the liquor store just so he could get a, get himself something to drink. Right. You understand that? Now he got cirrhosis of the liver. He got bad problems. He got back problems. His eyes is always jaundiced because why? Nobody was able to teach him this. Right. You understand that? He say, whoa, whoa means destruction. Read it again. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink that continue until night. To wine and flame them. To wine and flame them. You see people walking up the street, out, loose out their mind, drunk off the sauce, right. can't, you know, groping at things, trying to stand on their own feet. The wine has inflamed them. How you doing, bro? What's your name, King? Devante. You say Devante? Devante. 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 Okay, Devante. How you doing today? We, what we're doing, right, what we want to do is explain to our people, right, the white man, the white man has painted his images and his likeness all over this book that our people don't even believe it. Our people don't even want to follow it. You understand what I'm saying? But guess what? This book is only for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native That's Americans. Right. Now right. let me ask you this, Devontae. We've been going over a lot with the brothers and sisters here. Do God love everybody? Jeez. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, we're going to prove that. Get first, let's go to the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Bring it up. Okay, yes, sir. Read that flyer. Contact us, bro. We, we out here for our people. Yes, sir. Come learn with us, bro. Watch this. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Now, once again, I'm going to say it to you because I already said it to the sister and this brother right here. The whole Bible is addressed to the Israelites. Right. You understand that? Can you follow that, Brother Devante? Watch this. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. He said that I am your God and what? I am your God and none else. Now let me ask you this, Brother Devontae. What did that just say? Bring what it what do it mean? He said, I am the he said, I am in the midst of Israel, and I am their God and none else. What did that mean, Brother Devontae? He's for us. Exactly. Right, right, right. Exactly. That's the problem. Right? But our people, they have been misguided by the so-called pastors of the church who have learned their doctrine from the white man through slavery right. that our people don't believe that this book is for them. This book is filled with laws for us to follow. Just like I've been going over with them, right? Have you ever heard of Israel United in Christ? Have you ever heard what we teach? Have you ever heard of the Israelites? Have you ever seen them on YouTube and stuff like that? What is it that they teach, Brother Devontae? Hey, Keep the laws, right? So you know this, right? But do you believe in it? Well, guess what? Give me John 5, 39. You've been searching. I was searching too. But we didn't know where to search. You understand that? But now, through our understanding being opened up, we know where to search. Watch this. The book of John, chapter 5, and verse 39. Read. The book of John, chapter 5, and verse 39. Search the scriptures. Search where? Search the scriptures. Uh -huh. For in them... Ye think ye have eternal life. So eternal life is found in the Bible when you search the scriptures. Right. So you've been on your search. You don't got to search no more. The, the scriptures is where you need to make your first and last stop in searching. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.